Hey guys, it's Bex here and today I'm going to give you tips on how to strengthen your lower back and also to ease lower back pain that's caused by sitting too long. You might think that the only way to get lower back pain is from an injury, but that's actually not true. A lot of people have lower back pain simply from sitting too long, from inactivity. And that's what happened to me because I'm nursing all the time. I just had a baby, so I'm either sitting and nursing or I'm hunched over and nursing, but you don't have to be a new mom to suffer from this type of pain. You could be getting it just from sitting too long at your desk every day at work. So I'm going to give you a couple tips that are going to help you ease the lower back pain and also strengthen your back so that it protects you in the future. The first thing that you may have already noticed is that I am wearing a calf band from Be Active. This has been a life saver. I just slip it onto my calf. It's really easy. You can use it if you have a lower back pain in your right or your left side of your body, but mine is on my lower right side of my back. I just slip it on with the R up at top. I tighten it and there's this little knob in the back that's pressing against the outer part of my calf muscle and it actually eases the pain in my lower back. I kid you not, this is absolutely true. I've been wearing it for a few weeks now. I wear it for just a couple hours a day or for as long as feels comfortable and it helps relieve that pain that I've been experiencing from being hunched over or from sitting too long. What's also great about this band is that it can be worn over your clothes or under. So I can use it during my yoga practice and that's what we're about to get into now. I'm gonna show you a few really key yoga moves that are gonna help you to open your hips, which will also relieve lower back pain and strengthen your lower back to prevent injuries from happening in the future. I bet you didn't know that having tight hips and also tight thighs can lead to lower back strain. So here's a couple moves that are going to help you with your inner and outer thighs and also opening up your hips. The first one I wanna show you is one that simply connects your heels to your knees. And it's going to be hard for a lot of you to do, especially if your hips are tight. So if you aren't doing it exactly like me, that's totally fine. I want you to sit cross-legged, one leg in front of the other, and then slowly take one foot and place it on the opposite knee. Your other foot should be under the opposite knee. Now, a lot of you are gonna look like this, and that's totally okay. Some of you are gonna be able to go all the way down if your hips are already open, but if, it's, if you're not there, don't push it. Sitting up nice and tall, inhale your shoulders up to your ears, and exhale your shoulder blades down your spine. So now your posture is perfect. Your shoulders are right over your hips. You're also drawing in your core. You always want to work on core strength when you're doing any exercise, especially one to work on your lower back. And just relax into the pose. Again, if you're up here, that's okay. But the goal is to have both feet connecting with both knees. And after you've done that for several breaths, you just wanna go ahead and switch off. So you're just bringing the opposite leg on top. Really easy here, no strain, no pushing, just relaxing into the pose. One side may be more flexible than the other. Just be where you are in this moment. And then maybe with each exhale, you can go deeper into the pose. Another move that I absolutely love because it's also very relaxing is a reclined bound angle pose. So grab a pillow or a blanket, maybe fold it up. And I want you to just recline, lay back. Placing your feet on the floor like this and your knees together, you're just gonna slowly open up. The soles of your feet are going to be connecting and your hips are just gonna open up nice and wide, knees falling to the floor next to you. If it helps to have blankets under your knees at this point, that might be more supportive for you and it might ease any strain that you're feeling. Again, don't push past your limit. This is going to open up the inner thighs. And believe it or not, again, opening up the hips like this, opening up the inner thighs is going to help ease lower back pain. Just breathe for several breaths in this pose. Maybe you can stay here for three breaths, maybe 10, whatever feels good. And just let your muscles relax and the tension melt away. We're gonna stay on our backs for this next one and we're gonna work on the outer thighs. You're just going to keep the one foot down on the floor. So we'll start with our right side and then bring the left foot over 
to meet your right knee and then just allow the left knee to fall away from you like so. Then taking hold of your right thigh, you're gonna draw your leg in toward you and you're gonna feel that stretch in the outer left thigh. It's really gonna be stretching here. Remember, don't push past your limits. Just ease into it with your exhales and keep your feet flexed during this exercise. Maybe with every exhale, you can draw it in a little bit closer to you. And this should just feel amazing. It's opening up that outer thigh and also opening up your hips at the same time. And you want everything to be nice and even, so you can go ahead and switch up the sides. Remember, flex those toes back, pulling the left leg in now toward you, and the right knee is falling away from you. And you're going to feel that all through the right thigh. Maybe hold this for about five breaths. Remember, each exhale is going to allow you to open up space in your body and you'll be able to stretch even further, but just go super, super easy on yourself. For this next exercise, I want you to roll over onto your bellies and we're gonna do some supermans and this is great for strengthening your lower back. So if you're working on your lower back, you wanna keep the front body, your belly, nice and tight and engaged. So pretend that someone's about to punch you in the stomach, that's the easiest way, and you bring everything inside, you're like bring your belly button in and up and that's gonna make sure that you're protected during this exercise. So you're going to lay all the way flat, you can have your cheek on the floor, and then with your next inhale, lift everything up. So you're lifting your feet off the floor, you're putting your hands out in front of you, your fingers are pointed to in front of you, and then you can just hold this for a couple seconds and then lower back down. And as soon as you get down onto the floor, you're going to bring it back up again. Keeping everything nice and tight. I'm talking through this, but you don't have to. Just remember to breathe and exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. And just the tiniest bit of movement is going to be super beneficial. As soon as you feel it, you're doing it right. And you can do that for 10 reps, take a break, and do that several times a day. So if you want to get three sets of 10 really good reps in a day, you'll be strengthening your back and getting back in shape in no time. I hope you enjoyed my tips. I want you guys to absolutely try these out and let me know what you thought in the comments below. Definitely check out this Be Active calf band you can find the link for that in the video description. It seriously saved my life. I've been suffering so badly from lower back pain and it gives me so much comfort during my day and during my daily activities. I'd also love to hear requests for future videos. I want to bring yoga back to you guys, so definitely leave those in the comments below as well. I love you guys and I will see you soon in another Bex Life video. Thanks so much for watching and remember to please check out the links for Be Active in the video description below.